Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be a L3 Waxy Wonders haul. I did her, I did one restock, which um, you guys saw the whole of, and then I think only like a week later she did a pop-up restock. So I grabbed some stuff from that. So that is this haul. I do just have to show you how terribly the post office beat up this box. It is really bad. I have never seen anything liked it or like it, I should say. So somewhere the box got all damaged and I was really nervous that something was going to be fall, like have fallen out, but it didn't. Thank God. And it was wet when I received it. So it must have rained sometime somewhere in the box, boxes travels. And I thought that a hand sanitizer that I, that I had purchased exploded and it got the box all wet. And that's why it, um, you know, the box was beaten up and things like that. But thankfully my hand sanitizer is intact. So we'll start out with that. So I got this, this is from the company that, um, stocks her like body care products whenever she does restocks it's b Lux essential and this is antiseptic hand rub in the scent dinafash which is just like a whole bunch of oranges and i got this big bottle i think it's eight ounces of spray for 750 which is pretty nice and it is somewhere on here it says there it is 80 percent alcohol which this will kill just about anything you put on your hands. So I got this because I have a really cute um, spray hand, san hand sanitizer that I want to refill and just Bath and Body Works is not doing it for me. So with their prices. So eight ounces for $7.50 is a really good deal. And uh, yeah, really excited to have some hand sanitizer to refill my cute bottle. All right, let's get into it. I have Lowe's. So we'll start with those. This is Aquaman Ocean Breeze, or I'm sorry, Aquaman Ocean Waves and Sea Breezes. Really pretty blue wax. Comes in a huge bag. <laughs> and um, this is just like an aquatic scent. This is so lovely. Just a really beautiful, like, let me take it out and show you guys. Just a really beautiful um, aquatic scent. It's a little bit like... Um, not sweet, but it's a little bit like, um, I can't even describe it. It's just a really awesome aquatic scent. It, that, that's all you need to know. It's a little bit like, it's not salty sea air, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's actually really pretty and, and a, it's a very pretty scent and it smells incredible. I love her lobes because they're just plain. They're so plain. I love it. You just cut it. You do, you, you, you do what you got to do. You cut it. And you put it in your warmer and that is it. Like there is no mess, there's no glitter, there's no mica. Because I'm finding that I just, I'm not here for the mica and the glitter. They're such a mess to clean up. Different colored waxes, that's fine. But like all of the extra doodads in it, I am just, I'm, I'm not a fan, unfortunately. I know a lot of people really like pretty wax and if you like it, that's cool. It's just not my style. I prefer plain, that's all. And I cannot get the bag closed. As per usual, I can never get the bag closed. But this is a really great, really great aquatic set. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh my goodness. Knock it over cups. Goodness gracious. All right, this is cake batter, sweet cream, and whole vanilla beans. Plain white. It's really just... Clean. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. This is great scent. This is honestly sweet, creamy, cakey, battery scent. Mmm. You definitely, it's heavier on like that creamy note, like that sweet cream note where it smells like milky sort of. Not sour, not gross like sour milk. Just milky and then cake batter. Oh, so good though. Really awesome vanilla scent. I find that Jennifer, Jennifer's who um, ru owns L3, her, her vanilla is actually so incredibly strong. It's mind blowing. I don't understand how she can do it because usually vanilla is such a light scent, but she kills it. Every vanilla that I've tried, I mean, I haven't tried that many, but the vanillas that I've tried have been so strong. 
And then we have two of these babies right here. Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. This is the Bath and Body Works type, the Bath, the Bath and Body Works Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I got two loaves and I am so happy because this is, smells so good. I have melted from my last haul, the Trig Tarts. I have melted almost that whole entire thing yet and I haven't even had it for a month. It smells incredible. This, you guys, if you are a fan of, if you're a fan of the body care, get it because it's, it's awesome. It smells almost identical to it. If you are a fan of sweet, try this. If you are a fan of like pretty feminine scents, try it. If you're afraid of, afraid, if you're a fan of relaxing scents, try it. The scent notes, it does have um, magnolia in it. Let me see, do I have it? Yeah, it's candied whipped vanilla, marshmallow meringue, white magnolia, and fluffy sandalwood. If you're afraid of the magnolia in it, don't be because I am not a floral girl, but this is just so good. It is relaxing her trig tarts through all day. Like seriously, 10 out of 10 throw all freaking day. Again, a scent that has like marshmallow in it, you would think would be so weak, but no. I just, I love this scent. It is so strong. It is so relaxing. It is soothing. It's a little sexy. Oh my gosh. I just love this scent. So good. Seriously, so good. I would honestly buy more. I would buy probably like probably like two more loaves of just boardwalk marshmallow clouds like I'm not even kidding you and I don't own any single scent that I own like this much of like I've never loved a scent I mean I've loved scents but I've always been like no you don't need it whatever but this no I want to melt this every single day I really do this usually I have to like switch up my melting where I'm like okay I did laundry yesterday let me try some bakery today or I did bakery yesterday let's do fruity and I just kind of like go in like a circle you know I rotate whatever I'm melting no this I want to melt every single day I love this stuff you guys seriously boardwalk marshmallow clouds try it i'm telling you it's just so damn good oh I, i'm gonna put it in the mouth there after this like my, I, my my dishes just came out of the freezer and i'm waiting for them to like come to room temp and i'm putting in board work marshmallow pops like that's just it <laughs> all right last loaf is a hybrid loaf and this is two cents blended together so this is Aquaman and La Llorona, which is ocean waves and sea breezes, which is this right here, mixed with seaside cotton, rainstorms, and forest air. And I was a little nervous to get this because I was like, well, I have Aquaman. Do I need both? Yes. Yes, I did. Because they honestly smell completely different. And I'm going to try to show you that this is like really pretty, but I'm getting, it has like um all of these little, you know, pieces of the loaf right here. I've never owned a loaf, you guys. You guys are seeing all my first loaves hauls. My Hayden Row, my L3, they're all brand new. Never cut, never purchased. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, but anyway, I wanted to show you that it is two colors. It's really, really pretty. It's a mess, but gorge and it smells so good really really incredible scent like this is this is incredible because it is I'm trying to clean up all my wax pieces sorry um it it smells really like you're in a forest with some fresh air like the fresh forest air it really smells like that and I don't know how she did it, but it smells like that. It's aquatic. It's fresh. It's mostly heavy on the forest air. I'm not going to lie, but I like it. It doesn't smell like pine. It doesn't smell like trees. It really just smells like forest air. I don't know how to describe it. I don't really get a lot of the seaside cotton, which is fine. It's really just, it's like, okay. It's like you're in a forest by a river. That's honestly what it smells like. Mm hmm Yeah. You're by a river in a forest where it's just all fresh air and, and clean, no smog, no, no pollution. That's what it smells like. And I can't get the bag closed. Okay, so that is it for the loaves. That's all she wrote for loaves. I got two scoopables. I got 
Berrylicious cream cheese frosting funnel cake, which is a gorgeous purple color, and it smells so good. Seriously, a freaking good berry scent. Oh, it really smells like berrylicious and cream cheese frosting and like a little extra bakery from the funnel cake. This is so good. So good. And then the last scoopable is saltwater mermaid, which is ocean mist, seagrass with agave, nectar, and coconut milk. It's a really pretty blue. I'm telling her, her stuff is just incredible. She's quickly become a top vendor for sure. This is amazing. This is such a sweet aquatic scent. You really get a lot of that agave nectar, a little bit of the coconut milk, and then all the, the ocean. It's just, this is, oh, this is an awesome take on like an, uh, an aquatic scent. It's definitely sweet for sure, but I like it. I like it a lot. And then this is the, the spoon for her scoopable. And then we have some samples. So I'm so excited to get samples because last time I didn't get them. So we have toasted pistachio cookies, cherry lemon meringue pie. Ew, I don't do cherry, but we'll give it a smell. Nope, straight up maraschino cherry. Nope, that's a no for me. I don't get anything else but straight up cherry. So... That's unfortunately not a fave, but that's okay. Then we have agave, lime, strawberry, raspberry, guava, fizzy soda. This smells nice. Mostly like fizzy pops and then a little bit of like strawberry and raspberry. Mm, that one's nice. I like that one. Fizzy pops honestly just dominates whatever you throw it in, so... And then the last thing that we have here is a sample in a scoopable, which is so cool. This is Beachwood Vetiver Golden Santa Caribbean Escape. And I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to get this out, I guess. Oh yeah, the spoon will fit. I thought for, for a second that the spoon wouldn't fit, but it does. This one is interesting. I don't know. Like, I don't know what I smell in this. Like, do I smell beachy a little? Do I smell outdoorsy a little? It's it's weird. Not weird, but it's just a, such a different scent. And I don't know what Golden Santa is. I get a little fruity from like the Caribbean Escape. I don't know. It's interesting. It's, it's, an, it's a complex sort of scent. So that is it for my L3 haul. Um, you will definitely be seeing another haul for sure. Um, before I end my summer buying, um, but before I end the buying, you know, for summer, she will probably be the last person that I buy from. And yeah, I am not mad about it. I'm telling you guys, try her stuff. Her restocks are freaking epic. Join her Facebook group page because she posts all of her lists there and they are literally like pages and pages long. She pours so much thing, so many things. I have requested stuff for her upcoming restock and she's poured literally almost every single thing I've requested and I've overwhelmed myself. I was not expecting that. So now my list is huge and it's not a bad thing, but it's kind of a bad thing because I really don't need a single thing, but I requested it and she poured it, so I'm gonna buy it. So yeah, definitely check out her website. I mean, like uh, her Facebook page to learn all about her restocks and what like and stuff like that because just try it and everything is so affordable. These loaves are $12.95. These giant loaves that other vendors will charge like $16.50 for. So get yourself some L3. The scoops are $8.25. Or they ate $8 flat. I don't know. The hand sanitizer was $7.50 for 8 ounces. Such a good deal. But honestly, the loaves are just such a good deal. And she offers so many things. Just, just try her. Please just check her out because she is, her stuff is incredible. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you've tried L3. If you're looking to try her, I would love to chat with you all. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.